What's up? We back with another episode of 411 Uncut. Today, I got two special guests in the building with me. I'm so lucky I got OMO Stacks wow. and Treesky in the building, man. What's up with y'all? Chilling, man. Chilling? Chilling. It's good to be alive, man. Okay. I'm glad to have y'all on the couch today. Um, I've been seeing the views on YouTube and everything. They looking good. So I'm glad to have you on the couch to talk about y'all journey in this rap game right now. Because I know y'all just getting started. So I'm glad yeah. to get y'all at the start. <laughs> now, first things first, uh, Stax, um, you from Uptown. Yeah, hey, y'all. What, what was it like for you growing up in Uptown? Shit. I'd say it was just like any other normal neighborhood or you feel me anywhere else anybody grew up like it was we had what we needed but it wasn't you feel me peaches and cream you know what I mean so mm -hmm. that's how it was for me yes and now Treesky uh you all the way from the east side yeah. Evanston in the building what, what was it like for you growing up in Evanston yeah just had to move smart for real watch your decisions see watch who you be around for real Mm -hmm. Goddamn, that's why I'm right here making my decisions. Okay, so you gotta stay safe at all times. Yeah, yeah, got to. Man, now, now, uh, this is what I want to know, Treesky says y'all are from like way two different sides of town, but y'all on this couch together. <laughs> How did y'all end up linking up and becoming friends to even start making music together and kicking it? Like, how did y'all link up? Shit, we done our met up. We I done our met stocks in like probably like eighth grade, seventh grade, something like that. Playing basketball. Mm hmm Then we just been at it ever since, for real. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> for sure. Oh, God damn it, man. You feel me? Playing outside and shit, going, you feel me? Spending the night at each other's house and shit, shit like that. You feel me? Click as soon as we met, for real. Mm -hmm. It's my dog. Man, that's what's up. Now, um, you being from Uptown Stacks, what what school did you go to? I went to Mount Healthy from mm -hmm. preschool to fifth grade, sixth grade. Then I went to West High in ninth grade. Then I finished that with throw my senior year, but I only, you feel me, went there for like four weeks. Oh, okay, 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 yeah. cool. So you went over to the east side. Yeah. <laughs> you went over to the east side. Hey, bro, he east brought me side. over there and said, like, come on, bro. You feel me? So he said, yeah, come over to Withrow, man. Yeah, come yeah. over here. It was too, though. <laughs> Treesky, what, uh, what, what school did you end up going to? See, when I was younger, man, I used to go to CCPA downtown and shit. Oh, uh, hell yeah. When I was in high school, though, I went to uh, Purcell, and I went to Withrow my last year, too. Okay. Play football over there. Okay, cool. Now I know, um, Treesky, Once you end up graduating high school, you end up going to college. Yeah. Uh, what, what was what were you into in college? What was your major? You playing sports? What was going on? I went to college. I played football in college for about a year. Uh, my band. I was majoring in uh, business management. So that's what I was into. Now I do real estate. I came back home. I do real estate now. Oh, that's what's up. Yeah. Damn, you try to get to that bag bag. For sure. You know Chase. <laughs> <laughs> so you said, man, what, what was it about real estate that you figured, like, man, I, I kind of want to get into this and rap at the same time, but I'm really trying to get into this, this real estate shit? Uh, see, the real estate, it just, it, it just really dropped in my hands when I came back. Uh, we, I've got, like, a cleaning company and stuff. i got a cleaning company. I was contracting with these people. He asked me like that I want to come on the real estate side, so I just been working on the real estate every since. Now, that's lit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like I it. Button up, I switch it up real quick. <laughs> <I got> it. <laughs> now, um, when did y'all first start rapping? Um, when did y'all first get into the studio, and, and what was it like that first time? Cause y'all so young, but y'all got y'all rapping like y'all been doing this shit for damn near <laughs> ten years ease. or so. <laughs> Like, so tell me about uh your first time in the studio and Stax, then you tell me about yours. Yeah, I don't, I, don't, I just started rapping for real not too long ago. I ain't even, uh, this shit, I ain't even never want to rap for real. This just wow. came how I came for real. Mm -hmm. I probably made my first song probably like a year and a half ago, maybe something like that. Yes, it's fresh. So yeah, I'm fresh out here getting my feet wet. <laughs> now, what about you, Stacks? Uh, when did you first get in the studio and start dropping? Shit, I first got in the studio when I was like in the seventh grade, though. Like, wow, that was when I first got in the real studio, or the studio came to me. You feel me? But I really start dropping like three years ago, like 
four years ago, you feel me? That was when I dropped my first video. It was off a of phone and shit. Like, hell yeah. Damn. Like, yeah, hell yeah. Say no just, videographers yet. Yeah, I ain't even had no camera, man. It was my nigga. He recorded off the phone. Like, we was just in the hood. They like, you got to shoot a video. I'm like, I don't need, you feel me? Come on, gang. You feel me? This for you. You feel me? Come on. So that's mm -hmm. when I first dropped that. Then we start rapping for real. We start going to the real studio. Like, we came here. You feel me? We made that slipping. So then after that, it was like, yeah. We gotta tee up with this, yeah. like we yeah. gotta really start yeah. rapping for real. So, man, was it was it? I mean, I, it's crazy to see y'all social media. It's like you could drop a video, it's going crazy. You go get a thousand likes on the post, it's going. Everybody gonna be sharing it. Were you surprised that people, as soon as you started dropping, which I'll be a newer artist, that they were actually gravitating towards y'all as quick as they did? I mean, I feel like they feel it, like. Like, mm -hmm. they really understand that, you feel me? They going through the same shit we going through. So, I feel like that's why they fuck with it, shit. It's thorough. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. What about you, Tracy? How you feel about it? I feel that? the same way, for real. Shit, they fuck with it. That's hot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's hot, for real. So, it's undeniable. Yeah, for sure. You feel me? Then it's like, you feel me, like. We could come different flows, like, you feel me? We could bring that hot shit if they want that, and then we can come, uh, pain, like, you feel me? We Man. definitely got some yeah, shit we could drop it's on It's a variety. Right now, like, it, ain't a, it ain't stuck in the box. Like, we're, right now, we could drop some pain shit, literally, like, phone, we got to sure. tape or just me and him on the way, too, like, mm -hmm. you feel me? So, that's, that's really what it is, for real, like. Hell yeah. Now, uh, speaking about, like, you could drop that pain music stacks, like you're talking about, man. You dropped the whole project, Tears Falling, Blood to Be Shed. And uh, you actually able to, like, like you said, connect. Like, yeah, we could turn up on, you know, the, the slide and, you know, that type of music. Yeah. But we could really talk to, to, to yeah. people our age that's going through some of the same stuff. Uh, tell me about the title of that project, Tears Falling, Blood to Be Shed. Why did you pick that title for this project? It was really like, I don't know, like, what I was going through at that time, you know, a whole lot of losing a whole lot of friends, you feel me, shit like that, so it's like tears falling, you feel me, it's bloodshed, you feel me, like, mm -hmm. that's really what made me, that title come out for real, it's deep though, it's gotta, if you listen to the tape, it's deep, you gotta just listen to it, you know, Man. can't really... Feel me explain it too much, but if you listen, you will know why the tape name that. Man, speaking of that, um, it's 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 sad to see, man. Where you know we seeing a lot of young guys from um, the city, young guys, girls being like Cincinnati is dangerous, and a lot of people. Sure. If you're not from here, you may not know how dangerous um, it could be. But uh, I'm seeing that the effects of y'all losing a lot of friends. Do you take it out on the music? Is is, is do you let That's that pain out? Way. That's a good way to that's a good way to uh, express yourself and how you feeling for real. The music it's kind of a little way of expression for real how I see it. Mhm. Mm okay. Just to get it out. What about you, Stack? I feel like you feel me with the people that's not knowing how to get here. You feel me? If you listen to our music, you can really understand. You feel me? This is, we ain't talking about this for no reason. You feel what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. it get real here. You feel me? So it's like. With us losing friends, like, especially ones that was real like fire at rap and shit like that, you feel me? It just make a nigga go harder, want to say some fire shit and make other people want to fuck with it. Like, you feel me? That's all it be. Want to take this motherfucker over the city, take the whole city over. Man, because I, I, um, I know one of y'all good friends, Lil' Corn, uh, passed away. And um, I know that it had to have a major effect uh, when he when he passed. Um, how have y'all been coping with that? I know it affected y'all tremendously, but how have y'all been coping with his passing? See, when my brody passed, she just opened my eyes for real. He was she had like sixteen. That was young as hell, so it really just opened my eyes, made me watch who around for real, my situations, watch what situations I put myself in, and just who I allow around me for real. Had a, it's a crazy outlook for real. Yeah. yeah. It just made me think different, move different for real. Mm-hmm. Was he some of the inspiration for y'all to, to start picking up the mic? 
Ah, for sure, cause shit. Yeah, right, like yeah. I said, I ain't never even really wanted to rap. This just came in the hands for real. Mm-hmm. What about you, Stag? Shit, how I cope with it. At the time, shit, drugs, shit. That's how I cope with it, but mm. you feel me? It just made me like think different. I don't know, like it took a toll on me a little bit because like I was with my dog like Three, four days before then, you feel me? We was all at the house, me, him, and Trisky and shit, you feel me? Mm-hmm. So it took a toll on me for real. I was really going through a lot, you feel me? I had a lot of anger in me. That's how, you feel me? I got kicked out of school and shit for that shit. Like, you feel me? Motherfucker, don't know what I'm going through, you feel me? So, you feel me? That's what it took a toll on me for sure. That's, you feel Man. me? Took and, a real and, and now that you're a little older, because like you said, I mean, Corn was 16. Yeah, when he passed, so y'all, everybody's young at this time, you know, not adults and trying to figure out how to deal with these emotions. Like, grief is, it's hard to deal with grief. I'm an adult, and when I deal with grief, you know, I've had people pass, and I'm an adult, and it messed me up. So, uh, what's some advice would y'all have to teenagers now, you know, looking back, um, and if it's any teenagers dealing with grief from friends passing and things like that, what kind of advice maybe would y'all give to the teens now? Shit. Find something to do positive. Find a positive outlet. Uh, you feel me? Don't try to cope with drugs because it really ain't going to help. Find a positive outlet. Keep your mind busy. Stay busy. You feel me? That's the advice I got for y'all. What about you, Trisky? What you say to the teenagers dealing with grief? Yeah, just talk to somebody for real. It's kind of hard when you're trying to channel a lot of stuff in by yourself for real. Therapy for sure. For sure. Damn, just stay busy for real. Free time is free time. Hey, hey. you got to use your time wisely. Mm-hmm. Free time, you got to definitely just use your time wisely. Man, say too much time on your hands to get into some bullshit. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> for sure. Got to stay busy.